Shabam. In the young. Yeah, S and a H and a A double B and a A R A can A S. Always the best. What is good, Super Nation? So tonight we're gonna be doing a reaction video on Destiny 2 gameplay premiere, the next adventure. So, I mean, we watched the um the Destiny 2 gameplay. It looks pretty awesome, like the new abilities, new weapons, you know, the whole environment, everything looks on point, looks freaking polished. So this is from the headquarters, Bungie. So let's see what else they're bringing to Destiny 2, and. Click. Hey, you two, give me a sec. Zavala's doing the hero thing in the plaza. Me? That was pretty cool. I've got a date with whoever's behind this. It'll be a short date. <laughs> oh, snap. Destiny 2 tells a brand new story. What happens when a world full of superheroes loses their powers, their history, and home? Oh, Since Destiny 1 release, there's been no foe that they can why. stand before and not tip over. Whether it's Crota, Oryx, spider monsters, whatever. But in the opening of Destiny 2, players realize there is, in fact, a foe who has the power to not only take everything you own away, but to take your power away. Dominus Gaul is a Cabal warlord who has brought with him the Red Legion oh and has come to God. our system to take the Traveler's powers, the light, take it oh, for himself. So Gaul's jealous. Power. He wants to have the light. He wants to be chosen. Gaul is a different villain. He's not a psychopath who just wants to erase humanity off the face of the earth. He feels like this is something that is owed to him because of everything he's been through. He's a villain who you're like, yeah, this guy kind of has his stuff together. He's more like uh, Alan Rickman's character from Die Hard. <laughs> like, minus all the Britishness. The protector itself, the traveler, is put in a cage, and in an instant, all guardians lose their light. Unexpected wow. and irreversible. You can no longer go back to the tower. You can no longer even walk. All you can do is stumble. Nobody expected that light could be taken away once it was given. The city has been lost, and the vanguard's been Rabbit cast out, and you better. are the hero of this story. Whether you're a titan, a warlock, or hunter, you have to go out and get your powers back and take back the city. Titan. They should have put more characters, Whether you're like playing Destiny today or it's going to be your first foray into the franchise, Destiny 2 is a new adventure for everyone. It's a fresh start for all players. Yeah. Yeah, that Destiny 2 has an cool. all new cinematic campaign. There's more cinematics than we've ever had before. I think. How long before the fleet's combat ridden? And more yeah, story they need missions. To put, they need to put freaking space There's quests, there's adventures, there's going to be people talking to you. Let's bring them home, you and I. What the hell? All new worlds to explore. We've got cooperative strikes for three players, new nightfall strikes, and a brand new raid. And in Destiny 2, we've built you all new weapons, all new armor, and a pile of brand new exotics. Holy crap. Yeah, those armors we also are redesigned beasts. the weapon slots. They're gonna have a kinetic weapon, an energy weapon, and then a power weapon. Power weapons are things like fusion rifles and sniper rifles and grenade launchers. In that energy slot, in the kinetic slot, you can have the same weapons. The new weapon plan was designed to provide players with more freedom and more choice to use the stuff that they love. Okay, Each character has these new supers, and they're really changing the way it feels to play the game. We have the Dawnblade. Dawn blade. You can cast your super, you've got your sword, and you're flying over everyone, and you can just rain down a real fire right phoenix there. projectiles that just decimate people. It makes that for you, so you're the gamer. And then you have the Sentinel. Sentinel. A Sentinel is a titan, and he is able to summon a shield that he can just knock his opponents out with. 
Freaking throw America. a shield and just bang it off dudes' heads. Captain America. <laughs> and then you have the Arc Strider. They summon this mystical staff and wield it like a crazy acrobat, cracking enemies in the head. It's awesome. That's old as hell. The idea of losing your home and being cast out and the lengths that you'd go to, to get it back, it's all tied together to be something that's really meaningful. The sense of starting yes, as yeah. an underdog and climbing to a great height is really fun. Destiny 2 is the place where Wait, you get to reach what? back out to everyone. You Who can could enjoy tanks? a sweet first-person shooter in a future world with giant awesome aliens to fight and gear to chase and powers to use and say, come check this world out. Come get invested in this world and in this story. Pre-order and get 8. beta early access. Okay, okay. We've seen some very interesting things in Destiny 2. Um, it looks promising. It, it it looks more promising than the first one, in you know when it released because when it released we had nothing. So basically, it looks like we're gonna have a lot of fun. Um, new weapons. You can drive a tank. Holy crap! You have moves like Captain America, but with magical mystical. Um acrobatic ship like everybody is hyped for it i was i wasn't hyped at first but now when i watch that trailer and now i watch this holy crap and smith do not ever say throw money at the screen again because you all we already know what happened last time you said that yeah don't be a dick it looks promising it looks interesting it looks cool I, I, I'll, I'll probably get it. Get, um, the reveal, I was like, oh shit. Now watch this. Now they break it down, and you actually see what they have to offer. The story mode looks pretty cool. I mean, look at that. That, that we had a screenshot. We have um, not screenshots, but um, a screen where we saw you team up with some kind of human. You know, well, technically you're a human, but you, you get what I mean. You team up with somebody. And you're sniping something, I don't know, some enemy. And then we have an interesting story with that Cabal leader, Warlord. Apparently he's taking the light. Um, we're going to see the Guardians actually vulnerable for once. Like, totally vulnerable. Like, um, they can die like ordinary, ordinary people. Um, and to see that much chaos. Like, losing your home, the tower, everything is destroyed. So... Where is gonna be like the hub? Where's gonna be like the the main hub? Will it be in space or something? Um, we haven't really seen the queen's brother yet, but he's gonna be in there. In there. Um, the raids look, looks well. We don't really get a full detailed raid, but and the visual. The visual looks pretty good. Looks better than Destiny One, which is supposed to be. Um, it looks. It, it still have the same um, Destiny combat, but maybe a little more tweaked to make it more, you know, make the performance more, you know, good. But yeah, there's a lot of things that, um, that, I mean, this is just like, what, two, two, um, videos, actual gameplay videos. And we've seen the armor and everything, we've seen the weapons, we've seen all of that, the powers and everything. And plus they have more stuff to give us, like, you know, will they like crafting weapons we'll, we'll get to see all that um september 8th is just you know a couple months away but still it's a good amount of time for them to show us a lot more so um bungie i hope you're not gonna you know do us like you did us in um destiny one because if you do because i really have trust issues because i heard in destiny one i purchased all the way to the tank king and then the tank king to me is the only one that i really have story like in-depth story but i just hope you guys don't pull that same shit on destiny one hope you guys have a solid story i mean it looks pretty good i mean we have a villain already we have a situation what happened you know you know big situation not like one it happened to one guardian all of the guardians 
mean, our world is, you know, torn apart because of this, um, you know, this cabal warlord, of course. Also, if you guys from Death from Bungie is watching this, please put in, you know, space battles, you know, It'd be pretty cool, you know, to have space battles, you can fight against enemies, or PvP, trust me, if you guys do this, and put a lot of skins, perks, and all the, ty all the type of stuff, like modify your ship, Trust me, Destiny 2 will be a juggernaut. I mean, it is right now. It looks like a juggernaut right now. But add that in, boy, yeah. Because a lot of people would like to use their ships to do something. But anyway, you know, that's my reaction. Hope you guys enjoy this reaction. Hit that like button. Post your comments. Tell me what do you think Destiny 2 needs. And what do you think about Destiny 2? The gameplay, does it look, um, you know, cool as hell? Or does it, you know, eh? But, you know, post in the comment section. And also hit that subscribe button. Once you hit that subscribe button, you become a super nation. If you don't know what that is, that is my YouTube family. Also, check out my giveaway, my previous giveaway. Go to my official channel and look at giveaways because I'm doing a giveaway $100 worth of PSN codes. Um, and by doing this, you know, you know, I'm giving back to um, my community, of course. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more Super Mario videos. Peace, I'm out.